Hi, I'm Claudia and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about my weight loss journey and I also share some lifestyle content. For years, I struggled with my weight. I would lose weight and then gain it back and it was pretty much my lifestyle changes that I needed to commit to. So last year, around February of 2023, I went to some weight loss clinics to actually inquire about the weight loss medication semaglutide. Now, I know this medication has been going around and everybody um, has heard about it by now. And it is a primary medication for diabetes. However, it is being used for weight loss. I am no medical professional, so I will leave it to the those professionals. I just want to share my journey and you know, things that I've learned and things that I've been doing since I've been on the medication. And so I wanted to share three things you need to know before you take this medication. If you are thinking about it, three things you needed to know. The first thing is stay under a doctor's care. I know that if you're doing this just for weight loss, it can be hard to get a doctor to prescribe this for you. And there are some clinics that will do it and I know the cost is a huge factor. But even if you get it online, get under your primary care doctor's care because you want to have somebody that's monitoring you, checking to make sure everything's okay while you're on this medication. The weight loss clinic that I chose to go to has a very low affordable cost. If you are on 0.25 to 0.5, is $25 a week. Once you move up to 0.75 and up, it's $40. Now, I've, I have not been past the one milligram, so I don't know what the cost will be if I go up any higher, but I'm not planning on it. But that's very affordable from some of the clinics that I've heard about, $100 a week, two something a week. And I'm just fortunate that I was able to find this clinic in my area that was doing it at such a low cost. The doctor is very, very kind gentleman. He's so personal with his patients. I have recommended so many people to go to him and they all truly enjoy and love him as well. His main goal is not to make this a whole profit for him. He truly wants to help people. And so I was sold on that. The second thing is listen to the doctor. Listen to your doctor. A lot of people have been having some different issues with the medication. Now, please don't get me wrong. I know some of the medication will not work well with some people. Some people may have to switch from Wagovi to Ozempic. And, you know, you have to switch the medication dose and the actual medication to work well with your body. But I do know being in Facebook groups and just listening to other people on social media. Some people are not taking the medication as prescribed, especially if you're getting it online. You can pretty much give your own dose. Even when I was getting my doses that were um, that I was ordering and I was doing it at home, I could have gave myself more than what the doctor, you know, at, uh, prescribed me to give at that time. But I stuck to what he said. And I also listened to him when it came to eating. I did have to change some of my eating habits. I still ate certain things, but less of it. However, I knew when I did eat some certain things, it still affected my body. The medication is trying to get you not to eat some of those things, even though I did. My third thing would be hydrate. If you are not a water drinker, you got to change. And I have... I've. I'm not a huge water drinker. I do it because I know I have to, but my three bottles that I barely get two in a day have not been working for me. And I know that now because my digestive system has been having some issues. And so I know that most of that could be probably eliminated with drinking more water. Now I know the medication does have some effects on your digestive system with your bowel. However, I'm not doing enough water intake on my own that I should be in order to probably try to help assist with that issue. If you are thinking about this medication, just remember those three things before you start. Stay under a doctor's care, 
listen to the doctor and make sure you hydrate. If you have questions, drop them in the comment section. I'm going to try to do videos on probably any question or concern that I can think of that somebody may want to know. But if you have any specifically, please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later.